type of offense that College of Charleston likes to run where they'll dribble it all the way in, draw defenders, and then kick it out looking for the shots or looking to reverse it around the horn. First foul against Holland Quest. LaCondra Mason will get a breather. Neal is into the game. Gertie with a two. Also eight points. This is Gertie surveying the defensive alignment for Chattanooga. Hughes, three, got it. A lot of patience shown by the College of Charleston in that offensive set. And that's exactly what they needed to do. Slow the tempo back down. They felt the pace getting a little frenetic. They wanted to slow it down, take their time in the offense. They got the shot they wanted. But Jade Hughes has the answer on the other end for the Cougars, who have a three-point lead. We are back second half action of the first semifinal game, and timing's everything in life. I'm here, Mr. Paul Hughes, dad of Jade Hughes, who just hit the last three-pointer. And Jade Hughes, I want to get it right here, won the Ann Lashley Inspirational Award. Obviously a very serious car accident last year, did not play basketball last year. What was tougher, you not knowing she couldn't play last year or her not being able to play last year? A whole lot tougher on her. You know, she being so active throughout her whole life and having to not play basketball was, uh, oh, it killed her. It really did. Uh, and, and then when she did join the team, got to sit on a bench, not in a uniform, and not be able to play. Uh, yeah, it really hurt. Well, obviously she's back now. She just hit a three and she's a big inspirational player and a big asset to the College of Charleston. Thanks. Thank you. Thank All you right, Paul Hughes, dad of Jade Hughes, back to you guys. Just over nine minutes remaining in the game. Tied up at 38. Chattanooga has never had the lead. Look at Hughes off the glass and in. College of Charleston, very successful season, 22 and seven, 14 and six in conference play. They've won five games in a row, and if they can make it six, they have made their way to the championship game tomorrow right here on Sports South. Couple of free throws from Brooke Coxella, the junior from Anderson, South Carolina, and the Cougars converting turnovers into points during the course of this afternoon. At for the College of Charleston. Holland Quest trying to follow her own miss, and she has to be feeling some frustration at this point, Robin. She has struggled, even with her open shots, she hasn't been able to hit them. And that's because she hasn't gotten any rhythm going. They've shut her down, doubling down, not a lot of looks at the basket, and not a lot of mates. The lead is up to seven. It was a nine-point halftime lead for the College of Charleston. Chattanooga tied it twice during the course of the second half, but the Lady Mox not able to pull ahead. College of Charleston slowing things down. They want to get back in the half court set. Don't want to try to get in a running game here late. Three pointer from the corner, Erica Williams. And a 10 0 run for the Cougars. Timeout, Chattanooga. Westmore wants to take some time to talk about it. He sees that the energy that his team had early in this second half is gradually waning. And after that three, the bench is up, the players are fired up. Big smile from Nancy Wilson. You don't often see that from a coach during a game. They're not, they're not prone to smile a lot during games. Robin, she's up by 10 against the three-time defending champs. Give her a break for a moment. Oh, I <laughs> if I were me, I wouldn't be smiling yet. <laughs> Still 4.55 remaining. That's right, that's, that's the reason. That's, but a, a, brief, at, right. a brief smile is, is pretty good. That encourages your team. And look at that scoring run. 10-0 to the College of Charleston. This is the biggest lead of the game. 10 points for the College of Charleston. Leading the rebounding battle by just one, 38-37. But always a good indication as to who has the inside track to victory here in the Southern Conference, men or women. Tom, how about this? College of Charleston is 17-0 when they lead in the last five minutes of the ball game. They're 31-0 all time. That is a significant stat right now. And we have 440 remaining in the game. A 10-point lead and the basketball for the College of Charleston. And now Chattanooga extending the defense. They are putting on the full court press. Jones trying to beat that press and she does it. 
And once I think College of Charleston will let the shot go on the inside. They're going to take away anything beyond the arc. 20 seconds. Ogan, three for the senior, and she ties the game. Gave Aaron Ogan entirely too much space. History has shown, even in this ball game, that she can hit the outside shot, and certainly the downtown ones. Fourth three-point basket of the game for Aaron Ogan. Six seconds. Turnaround, Jones, she got it with three and a half remaining. Tough shot by Deidre Jones over Aaron Ogan on the inside. Ogan doing all she could. This is the kind of ending that we expected. Ogan with a little bit of space, releases on a high arc. And then on the other end, you pound the ball inside, go for the high percentage. Deidre Jones over Aaron Ogan. Ogan taking the quick timeout with three and a half seconds left. Deidre Jones with 12 points. She is the leading scorer in the game for the College of Charleston. No fouls. College of Charleston doesn't have any timeouts left. Last thing Coach Wilson said to them, no fouls, no threes. So here we go. Three and a half seconds remaining in the game. Our first semifinal, the winner is going to the championship tomorrow. Ogan, baseball pass batted down by Katsella. And that's going to do it. The Cougars have upset the Lady Mox, 53 to 51. What an amazing finish by the College of Charleston, showing a lot of poise. And to defend over the ball was key. The wind up for the baseball pass. If you put somebody over the ball, very difficult to make that pass. Brooke Cotsella getting a piece of it, then saving it. And the College of Charleston is going to the tournament championship final for the first time in school history. 53 to 51 is the final. The College of Charleston had a nine point lead at halftime and they win it by two. Chattanooga came all the way, way back to tie it on a couple of occasions in the second half. Just couldn't get over that barrier and the College of Charleston takes it 53 to 51. An exciting first semifinal here on Sports South, Robin. Now you talked about how much energy it would take to come back. We saw a lot of energy by Chattanooga. I thought they might have enough energy to get over the hump, but in the waning moments, it was the poise of the College of Charleston that led to the victory. All right, let's go over to Nate Ross. Here Coach Nancy Wilson, just another home game. Just another home game, easy game. I can't hear you. I just said it's just another whole home game. Oh, yeah, just another whole home game. We've had several of those this year. What an awesome, tremendous win by our players. Uh, they got such a great team. They came running at us so hard. Uh, I thought we did a great job with the game plan in the first half. They came out and answered in the second half, so we had to adjust, and we just made big shots when we had to. So Deidre's big shot there. Uh, Brooks, hands, and steal on the baseline. I mean, you can just name things over and over again. Just huge plays, uh, good play by a good team. H huge help from my assistant coaches. Holland Quest was very frustrated. Every time she touched it, there was four hands around her. Great job. Well, we did a good job at doubling. Coach Elmore had done a great job with the scouting report. She had noticed how some other teams had doubled and had success. And so we put that in the game plan, and uh, it was good for us today. Coach, you're in the finals. Congratulations. You're in the finals of SoCon Conference. I want to say to God be the glory. This has been so exciting. Thank you. All right, Nancy Wilson, Tabby, we'll send it back over to the table. Thank you, Nate. The 23rd victory of the season for the College of Charleston propels them to the championship game tomorrow here at McKenzie Arena. They are in the women's final. They await the second semifinal to see who their opponent will be. 53-51 is the final. We've got more coming up from Chattanooga right after this. From McKenzie Arena in Chattanooga.